healthier and happier. Well, if we all could be here in Puerto Vallarta, that might be very easy for all of us. But right now, it's time to welcome Tara Wellington to our show. It's time for our health segment. She joins us with some great creative ideas. Tara, welcome. Hi, Con. It's Tara. How are you? Well, Tara, one thing's for certain. We all want to be healthier and happier this year. Yeah, absolutely. Now is the time to make those wellness goals. I'm here on behalf of several companies that I'll talk about today. And we're going to give you some solutions and tips so that we can be realistic about our goal setting for 2012. Well, Tara, I can't wait. In a few moments, we'll get to those technical tips. But before we get there, why do so many of us fall short on the mental aspect of our New Year's resolutions? Well, because a lot of times we need a support system, really building a support system around us so that we can have some accountability and encouragement is key. And also, sometimes we make these really big goals and come the end of January, they still seem insurmountable. So the key is, it's okay to have a big goal, but then break it up into mini goals that will get you there and then add rewards. And technology can really be your friend with something like this to make it a lot easier. A free health site that I've been looking into is called CareVerge, um, and you can look it up online. It is a simple, healthy living site with a community that you can build around. Um, you can connect with a community, including medical professionals, to answer your questions. You can set and track those goals in a really intuitive way, visual way. Invite your friends and family so you get the social element. Plus, you can get health information pushed to you that is based on your interests, so it's unique. And earn rewards as well for those goal milestones, like a heart rate monitor, because, again, one of those keys is when you get give yourself a reward for those small changes that you make, you're more likely to keep those wellness goals as you go throughout the year. That's interesting about selecting someone to join us in the pursuit. What are some of the good criteria so we can pick a partner that is really good to make sure we follow through with our goals? Well, somebody that is very positive, um, that isn't energy draining, that really is on the same path. Or if you would like to, let's say, break up your exercise um, options, um, look for meetup groups, people that really want to get outdoors, people that really want to do something better in their life. And these, these, uh, these people can be new friends in your life. Also, family and friends that you already know who can be very supportive. Um, that's, you know, being positive, going into the new year and with wellness goals is really important. Um, and being a positive parent is also important too. You know, one in three children, are American children, are either obese or overweight right now. And society pressures have not reversed this trend. So being a positive parental example by putting some of these healthy living lifestyle changes into place and then sharing that lifestyle with your children. For example, if you're going to set up an exercise plan for yourself once you have that in place, then talk to your children and say, okay, what's going to be your exercise plan? And come up with uh, physical activities they enjoy. Uh, check out city recreation programs, which have been really successful for my family. And also support PE and recess at your child's school. That can also be key. Well, Tara, that's certainly great to hear. Now it's time for a segment we call Show and Tell. How can we be healthier and happier in the new year? Well, a lot of us want to lose weight, and uh, of course, we want to do it painlessly. <laughs> so let's cut, give you two healthy eating tips that would fall in that category, and the first one would be portion control. Um, it's a very easy way to reduce your calorie intake without changing much of your routine. So you, again, it falls in that small changes category. USDA has a My Plate eating guide with recommendations saying if you want to lose weight, still enjoy your food, but just eat less by consuming fewer calories with your foods and beverages. So in 2012, this is one of the trends that you're going to see. You're going to see portion controlled foods and beverages as well. Matter of fact, something like the Coca-Cola mini can that is 90 calories would be a great example. It's a portion controlled option for your beverages. The same taste but less calories. They come in eight pack cans and they have several flavors as well. Now the second healthy eating tip that would be very easy for you to do is to add 
uh, plant-based proteins into your diet. Meatless proteins, you probably have heard of meatless Mondays. Well, this is a way to reduce your saturated fat, reduce your calories, but still stay, stay full. So maybe one once or twice a week, you would take out the chicken and beef and replace it, make an easy switch out with beans, nuts, soy, or whole grains. And you know, you for some brands that you can look into, you can look into the all natural tribe hummus, which is made from chickpeas, and you can spread that on whole wheat pita bread with raw veggies. Or for vegetarian, a vegetarian option would be Veggie Patch. Um, they have their meatless meatballs, which my family didn't even know the difference the other night, um, by the way. Falafel balls or broccoli bit, uh, bites with cheese. So there are a lot of flavorful options out there for you. Well, one thing's for certain, Tara, anytime you describe one of the food items, it sounds uber delicious. Where can we go to find out more information on what you shared? Right, you can go to my website, tarawellington.com. I have some information on there about also how you can help your kids this season um, as you're setting New Year's healthy living goals. That's awesome, Tara. I will check it out. Happy New Year to you, and thanks for the great advice. Happy New Year. If you want to learn other Health Beat segments we've done recently on Get Connected, log on to our Get Connected website at contv.com. When we come back, it's surfing in Puerto Vallarta. Not necessarily on a surfboard, but with the porpoise. And we will check that out with Puerto Vallarta Ventures when we come back. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement by keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement. <laughs>